One of the things I've enjoyed the most since I was a kid is flying. Let's do a pre-flight check or walk around on this beauty. First, when approaching the plane, look to see if you see anything out of the ordinary. Did a fuel truck hit it? Lightning strike? Is there a condor nesting on top? Just a general overview of the airplane. Now let's open it up and get inside. The paperwork needed to be legal should be in the airplane. Remember the acronym AERO, A-R-O-W. A stands for airworthiness. R is registration. O is the operating manual. And W is the weight and balance. Now let's test the controls. Deploy the flaps by pulling on the Johnson bar. Side to side for your ailerons. Make sure they are free and clear and move in the right direction. Back and forth for the stabilator or elevator on other planes. It's called a stabilator because the whole assembly moves as opposed to other planes where there is a fixed leading part with a hinged control surface to the rear. Let's grab the fuel tester and go around the plane. Check the hinges and linkage and connectors on the flap. Then on the aileron. The ailerons use hinges with piano wire and should move freely. Now around to the front of the wing, checking the navigation lights and wingtip on the way. Open the fuel tank and look inside. Nav gas is pretty clear, so you might want to put your finger in there to see where the fuel level really is. Here are the fuel requirements. The bottom of the filler neck is also called the tabs. You can see them here. Now to the bottom of the wing. Nothing bent or broken. Tire inflated and strut looks good. Now we're going to test the fuel by pushing in on the sump. Have gas is very clear but has a slight blue color to it. You are looking for clear liquid at the bottom, which would be water or any contaminants. You can pour this sample back into the tank if you have a filter or strainer on your tester. Now unhook the tie-down chain. On to the front of the plane. Look inside and check to see that there are no bird's nests or mice in there. Unscrew the oil dipstick and check the oil level and consistency. That's some good clean oil that the wind is blowing around there. Screw it back in and close the latches. Check the propeller for nicks or cracks. Slight paint wear is normal. Knock on the spinner and the blades to make sure there are no weird sounds. Now the other blade. 
Check the cow holes for any bird's nests or debris. Going down, look at the landing light. No cracks. Down to the front landing gear. Check the tire pressure and strut. While looking underneath the airplane, get another fuel sample from the sump. This is the lowest point of the fuel system. Clean. Now to the other wing. Check the fuel tank. Look under at the landing gear. Check the leading edge and stall warning switch. The pitot tube should be free of insects and debris. Drain some fuel to look for contaminants. Now unhook the tie-down chain. Around the back of the wing, check the aileron and its hinges and linkage. Same thing for the flap. On to the rear or empennage of the plane. Check the antennae on top as you move to the rear. Look at the leading edge of the tail and stabilator. Check the tail control surface. Now unhook the tie down chain. Move around to the front of the stabilator and then back towards the cockpit. Pull the flaps back up and take the parking brake off. We're ready to pull this bird out of its parking spot. Get the tow bar out and move to the front of the plane. Pull on the spring-loaded lever to engage the front tow slots, then release it to lock it in place. Now rock it back a little and pull forward. What a beautiful airplane. Don't forget to take the tow bar off. There have been many prop strikes and rebuild engines from people that forget to take the tow bar off and start their engines. Next up, starting the engine and taxiing out to the run-up area. Thanks for watching and think about subscribing.